Okay, my next tool is GimKit at G-I-M-K-I-T dot com. Um, it is bringing gaming into your curriculum area. So you can uh, register for a free account with your educator um, email. Um, it links with your, if you have a Google school account, it'll link with that and I'll actually link with Google Classroom and you can import your classes from there. Um, but once you create your account, it's kind of the landing page. Like I said, you can um, actually set up classes. I started testing this website actually today in class um, and I didn't set up any classes. Um, so they have, um, you can set up, these are kits. Basically these are um, like kind of, I guess, groups of review questions. So you, if you want to think of it like unit one, unit two, unit three. So you plug in your questions here. Um, this, it's really nice because you can add questions either manually, manually typing them in, or you can go and import them. Um, so you can manually type them in or you can import them from a spreadsheet. They have a template that you download, you plug your information in and boom, you're ready to go. Um, so with your questions, you can assign, if you have a classroom set up, you can assign it as homework. And so they can, the students will go through and you can dictate either they have to get every question right or um, there's like a point system that the questions have. So you can assign it how you want with that or you can assign assignments Okay, using questions from your databases or your kits. But the coolest thing about this is the um, play or game. Okay, so it takes your questions or your group of questions and you can play any one of these games that it has. So you can, um, for instance, today, what I've, I've tested two games out. I've tested the fishing game and I've tested the Flora's Lava game. The Flora is Lava game. Um, everyone works together, they answer questions, um, and for every question they get right, they get material to build, and they, they're building basically a platform um, to, to keep ahead of the, the floor of lava that is rising. The teacher kind of dictates that. Or the fishing one, which I thought was really awesome, um, is they answer questions, and for every correct question, they get to, uh, they get a piece of bait. And then for every piece of bait, that sorry I'm trying to get the game set up here for every piece of bait that they get then they can go fish okay so as you can see here you're in the game so they go they answer questions and again if they get the question correct they get a piece of bait so they can go, they can answer 20 questions, get 20 pieces of bait, or they can get one, and then they can go fish at any of the water areas on the map. Okay. Once they have a fish, then they can go sell the fish. And then once they get money, then they can go do different things. They can buy different gear, as you can see there. They can go buy a boat and actually go to different lakes or different bodies of water. Um, it is very um, interactive, I guess, fun for the students. Um, like I said, I just tested this game out this afternoon. My accounting two kids loved it. Um, we played for 30 minutes. Um, I set a 30 minute timer. We played for 30 minutes and uh, the top five people or the top five people that had the most money, they got um, a piece of candy or extra credit, their choice. Um, but that is, that's just one of the games that they can play. And the cool thing, like on the teacher screen, you can either play or you can kind of just facilitate. Um, on my screen with the projector around, I put up the leaderboard. Um, that way, as students were working their way through the game, they could see their scores, things like that. Um, I know this video is going to go over the time limit, but this, like I said, this website's awesome. Um, there's a free version. Like I said, I'm testing out the free version portion of it. Um, my intended audience is for um, my my intended on audience is for all my classes. Um, I'm kind of going to be a guinea pig for my department. I'm testing out the website and then um, we may purchase the paid version, which opens up more games from my understanding. Um, but yeah, so anyway, GimKit, it's free. You can use your um, educator email to create a login um, and get going from there. Uh, my standards that I use or that I link to this is three, the 3.3.C, uh, 3 3 Inspire Culture of Innovation and Collaboration that allows space to explore. Um, 
The reason why I put that is for this fishing game, I had students work in partners. That way they collaborated together. They had to decide, hey, should we buy a boat or should we buy better fishing gear or should we save up our money, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then the other standard 3.3.E, develop learning assessments that provide a personalized, actionable view of student progress in real time. Um, I link that with all the different ways that you can assess students on this website. Um, they either they have a progress. They um, either have a point system, a money system, or some type of leaderboard, so they can kind of see how they're progressing um, through there. So that is again gimkit.com.